If you're new to welding, specifically flux core, well, you've had some welds turn out like this. And with all that spatter and dust everywhere, you might think that those welds are bad. In reality, they're not. Most of them just need a little cleanup. Now, if you do want that cleanup to go a lot easier, well, they have stuff called spatter spray. All of those little balls and BBs on there, that is spatter. And with flux core, there's no way around it. You're gonna get a bunch of it. And all of that gunk gets up onto your nozzle, so pick up some nozzle gel. That is one of the reasons why people kick it over to MIG welding because it's a lot cleaner process and it still does have spatter, but not nearly the amount with flux core welding. It's a great little spray that takes about two seconds and that's all you got to do to apply it. What that does is it puts a little coating over your workpiece so any of those little, you know, spatter balls that get thrown out, they just brush right off. Now on the other end, as you can imagine, your welding, your tip and your nozzle are really close to the weld. It accumulates all that spatter, gunk and everything. The tip saver is nozzle gel. With the flux core nozzle, you really only care about the tip. And when I first started, I got these gunged up so quickly, it'd be really frustrating because you would just be able to weld a little bit and then you'd pull the trigger and nothing would come out. It'd be all balled up and stuck on there. I had a buddy tell me about nozzle gel and I've loved it and used it since. And I'll tell you that nozzle gel is the reason why this is the same tip that it's been on it since I got my titanium 125. So here's exactly what I do before each weld. I'll throw down some spatter spray. Simple as that. Take my tip, dip it in my nozzle gel, put that aside and get to welding. After you weld it for a minute, yeah, you actually can do more than just a little four foot coupon. I just take my wire brush and my MIG gun and simply one or two little passes just like that and your tip is nice and clean. Dip it in the nozzle gel again and you're ready to go. Now for the actual workpiece, yes, you can work at it a bit with the wire brush, but you'll notice it really just takes one or two passes with a wire wheel and you've got a really good looking weld. And if you'll notice, since we use the spray, there is not one, well, okay, maybe one little spatter piece, but that's it. My two tips for you to get that weld looking good and keeping your gun clean. Of course, links to these in the description below. That's all I got. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.